Rigbo Primary School is located on the banks of the River Nile in the West Nile region of Uganda. It's one of 20 schools in the region supported by the Aga Khan Foundation to integrate information communications technology in lesson delivery. Most days end the same way for Andevo James, a literacy teacher at Rigbo Primary School. He spends his evenings preparing lessons for the next day. The computer is central to his preparation. I was using the computer to prepare. One, getting the content. Two, using the content to develop my learning materials. Three, also to guide the children to read using the computer after preparing well with the computer. Planning is a significant element of teaching learning system. Effective planning is a step-by-step -step process that provides a structure for an essential learning. It is important because it helps the teacher in maintaining a standard teaching pattern and does not let the class deviate from the topic. Storytelling draws the interest of learners into the lesson. This is complemented with local teaching learning materials. From the story that I've picked, I've also removed some keywords. Okay? I've removed some keywords like the word aunt, teacher, orphan. And I've made these flashcards, like this one here. I've made a flashcard. I will be, I will be here refers to aunt. And when I'll be teaching, I will flash this to help the children recognize whether they read such a word from the, from the text. Adania. Allowing learners to interact with locally available teaching materials helps them manipulate and be more creative and resourceful. But the class not only uses local teaching learning materials. As I will go, I will also use the computer as part of my learning aid. I will go with the computer. I will go with this one here. I will also take some computers for the children to be used in the classroom. And when it comes to say the reading, I will first project. I read for them to pick the right pronunciation, the right words, and then there we shall read with them together. And after reading with them together, I will give them the chance to, to read alone, now using their, their computers. After the boys and girls have read the story by themselves, teacher James challenges them to identify other vocabularies from the story. The class ends with an assessment and consolidation. Here, Teacher James identifies words for spelling and writing. The assessment and consolidation helps the teacher know how best to support the learners while helping the learners cement the connection between the letters and their sounds. We move on to another school, this one in town. Swaiba Anakol, a pupils of Naja Islamic Primary School, found in a rural town. They love school, for they get to meet their friends and play games. But the fun they look forward to each day is not only on the playground. The integration of ICT in learner engagement 
has made class just as exciting. I like letter dressing and playing games and questions. Children love to be engaged and direct their own learning. The pupils work in groups, reading text and answering questions. The teacher ensures that each learner in a group gets an opportunity to touch and direct their own learning. Among numerous sources of children's interest in the language learning process, games seem to be very important. Young learners love to play and they participate in a game with more enthusiasm and willingness than in any other classroom task. We have letter misses, have picture words, have word games, we have mathematics games, we have this, this shooting games, we also have sentence making games, we have letter tracing games, they are all there in the computers. Swiber's favorite game on the computer is dressing the potato guy. What do you learn from the games? I, 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 I wear the potato guy. You dress the potato guy? Huh? Why did you dress the potato guy? What are the things you use to dress the potato guy? Ears, nose, eyes, mouth. With ICT integrated learning, pupils of Naja Islamic Primary School have fun in class. But does this come with any benefit? It's something you taught, they practice it on their own. Something somebody has taught, you have taught and taught it or practice it, will not forget it immediately. And like those days whereby you stood there and you taught, you go out, Immediately, what you have taught there on the BB, they will forget it easily compared to the, the laptops. For Swaiba, a call, and their friends, school ends with a game of catch the ball. They look forward to another day of school with fun in and out of class. So far, the Aga Khan Foundation has rolled out ICT enabled learning in only primary one and primary two of 20 schools in the West Nile region of Uganda. But its impact goes beyond these classes and beyond these schools. Transforming Students' Learning and Teacher Professional Development is a three-year pilot project of the Khan Foundation in collaboration with Dubai Cares in partnership with the Ministry of Education, civil governments of Yombe, Koboko, Arua, colleges and schools. The focus is validating and delivering effective scalable models to mainstream the use of ICT in teacher professional development and the teacher's ability to use ICT in the classroom. The target classes for the digitalized thematic curriculum has been primary one and primary two. The project reach is 75 primary schools 172,000 boys and girls, 2,100 teachers, and 140 education leaders. At Arivu Primary School, even students in Primary 5, 6, and 7 are enjoying the benefits of a spillover effect from the lower classes. When you are born and then you have this, the name of the country within the world. We have a software in the laptops which is having the globe and uh, it provides all the locations of the, 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 the nations. So it is having a system of command line. Whenever you just need the location of a specific country, just get the command line and it is automatic. Another teacher at the school, Mary Grace Rakiru, uses the games on the computers to teach her mathematics class. I 
And this one is fair, but uh, dividing numbers for them to take time. Now they come with their counters to class. Every day they move with their counters. Now if it comes on the computer there that 12 divided by 2, you will see this, this learner here counting very fast, dividing this, these counters to get the answer. So it makes them reason very fast. The spillover effect is caused by teachers from the lower school trained in ICT enhanced learning that also teach upper classes. But the spillover effect is not only restricted to the schools and is not only caused by teachers. When these learners, they learned, they started teaching even their parents who are having computers at home. People didn't believe that these classes could learn computers. But the impact on the ground was now, these learners, when visitors come, they will see this is P1 and P2 in the other classes teaching them. P1 and P2 can teach even P4, P5, P6, up to P7. At a personal level, one of the teachers says her acquisition of new computer skills has eased her work. I can also write my reports using the computers because anything which is written in the computer cannot get lost. Before introduction of ICT enhanced learning, Naja Primary School was struggling. Actually, that is a school that uh, has uh, actually shown uh, a dire state of collapsing. But uh, because of the, uh, the ICT components, you find people are learning and they are coming up. That's why the number is gradually coming up. But perhaps the biggest impact of ICT enhanced learning is that it has made school fun, not just for the students, but for the teachers too. And this in turn has positively influenced how teachers and students relate.